Episode 12. It's fall, Vern. Fall. Have you ever walked in the same area day after day and one morning you feel like something has changed? Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, it's one of those times. summer. Ah! Um, I know what you're thinking. Why can't we have summer all the time? I think you'd like that better. Having a change of seasons is good. It helps you appreciate each season for what it is and for what it brings. If we had summer all the time, You'd never have leaf piles to jump in, or snow to build a snowman, or vernal pools to find frogs in. That wouldn't be very neat, would it? Mm -mm. You may have felt that the air is cooler. Vern and I noticed that the morning temperatures aren't as warm as they were just a few weeks ago. That's because the sun is sleeping later before it rises in the morning. And then it doesn't stay out as late as it used to. This means the air, the ground, and water aren't heating up as much. So everything's cooler. Hey, son, time to get up. Rise and shine. You got a big day ahead of you. Another sign of the changing seasons is there's a lot of ground clouding going on. Look at me, Vern. I'm walking in the clouds. Foggy. Cool nighttime temperatures and warm days mean ground clouds are likely to form in river valleys and over lakes by morning. This happens when cooled moisture in the air forms tiny water droplets that remain airborne. It looks like a cloud on the ground, but we call it fog. Uh, that was loud. Another sign of the changing seasons is that some leaves are beginning to change color. Look at the grasses and the shrubs in the fields. Some are losing color and look worn out. That's a sure sign that summer days are numbered. But some changes we might like better than others. Here's a red ripe keeper. Apples! Oh. Oh. Cool temperatures make apples blush red, a sure sign that they're ready to eat. Picking apples is a neat thing the whole family can do. How neat is that? Here's a neat poem for the season. Small or tall, young or old, all like the taste of apples, so I am told. Northern spy for apple pie, and apples gold for cider cold. An apple tree. A joy to behold. What do you think, Vern? Hmm. Another sign of the changing seasons are wood piles. Cool weather lets people know they have a limited amount of time to get their wood in for the winter. That reminds me. Vern, I haven't finished this yet. Have you finished yours? <laughs> Sure is a lot of wood. I understand what they mean when they say you warm yourself three times before you actually burn your wood. Whew. Mm -hmm. Animals change their behavior at this time of year too. Some, like the monarch butterfly, stock up on food before they begin their 3,000 mile journey south to Mexico to spend the winter. Spiders and some insects 
lay their eggs in protective cases before the adults die from the cold weather, while chipmunks and squirrels are active like Vern and me, except they're busy gathering nuts and seeds instead of wood. Now it's your turn to discover the neatness of the changing seasons. Take someone along and see what things you can find. Maybe you'll find some things that we found, or maybe you'll find some things that are different. There sure is a lot going on this time of year. Do you know what season you're looking for? Fall, Vern? Fall! <laughs>